What's up YouTube family? This is Jeff with a little bit of everything home services coming to you with another video and today I am at a school and this school has a Mitsubishi uh, VRF unit and it has a twin unit you know two different units twin together so having a problem with the linear expansion valve inside of the branch controller um, in, the, in the branch box so I figured I'd have you tag along today I have to actually do some recording of some data I have to hook up maintenance tool to it I have to close this um, this uh, expansion valve down so I can send this information to Mr. Bishop because the unit's not sending a signal to open up like it should so we're gonna get that issue fixed but I gotta send this information to them and I figure hey I have you tag along and show you a few things and, um, and go from there so check it out okay family this is the branch box and we are actually this branch box is located in a very unique um, location if you look around it's actually inside of a crawl space um, that's in underneath this school and this is where they have the branch controller normally the branch controller will be in the ceiling but uh, but this is what the branch box looks like and uh, you got you, this particular system if you look here there's what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve different indoor air handlers that's connected to it and uh and as you can see the top is the liquid line the bottom is the suction line and the brass box has the ability to, to make the indoor cassette indoor air handler cool or heat and and that's the great part about the branch box is it can do it simultaneously uh, so uh, it can it can do cooling and heating at the same time basically you know so based off the demand so um, right now I'm gonna show you the inside because I have to take this cover off to to um, to change out to tighten up that uh, linear expansion okay family I have removed the cover of this branch controller so what I'm doing today, if you look here, this is the linear expansion valve that I was talking about. What we did here is, um, because this wasn't metering the refrigerant correctly and was causing the unit to freeze up, I opened it up halfway so the refrigerant can flow. Uh, so, but it's still, it should be opening up and, and closing on its own inside there. There's a little depressor that allows the refrigerant to meter inside of it. And the great thing about it is you can remove this without having to pull all the refrigerant out so that's that's the great part about it now one of the things you want to look at here um, with with this see i mean if you look inside of this branch controller here see all those different solenoids back there those solenoids are hooked up to each one of these line sets right here so which allows the it to open the change of flow of refrigerant from heat to cool now so i figured i would just give you an opportunity to see one of the things you want to check inside this branch controller, if your temperatures aren't reading correctly, uh, all of, there are so many different, see those right there? Inside of the wells, these sensors, that has these temperature sensors in here. And if, if one of these temperature sensors is sitting inside of the water, uh, it's not reading correctly, it's not gonna, it's not gonna meet it correctly. So you want to make sure you check that if you hooked up the maintenance tools and something looks kind of funky uh, you want to check that to make sure that it's not just sitting in the water or hanging out because they do come out periodically you know we had one of these come out and it wasn't reading correctly so you know I was able to get it put back in you know but um, anyway like I said I figured I would I would have you kind of tag along and see what inside of the branch controller looks like um, branch box and uh, a little bit about it and then I'm gonna like I said hook up maintenance tool and I'm going to right now we have it in a operating mode but as we have this we have this valve right here set we was able, I was able to go in there and set it to the position that I wanted to but I need to open it up and release it so it can do what it's supposed to do on its own so I can send that data and I'm gonna record that data and send it to Mitsubishi. Alright family 